All right, on this one, we should have had a y equals this stuff. So, um, so this one is one to one. Um, so since the index on this one is an odd number, 3, this one is 1 to 1, okay? So in order to find its inverse, we're going to exchange the x and the y. So I've got an x now equals the cube root of 10y. And I just need to solve for y, so I'm going to cube both sides. And I've got x cubed equals 10y. <clears throat> if you want to, you can put that to the power of negative 1. That's, again, that's not a power. It's just showing it's inverted. And then divide by 10 everywhere. So y to the y inverse is x cubed over 10. <clears throat> and that would be the inverse function.